back. It's still Breakfast Daily right here on City TV. And this is the news review segment. Don't forget that the show is interactive. Use the hashtag Breakfast Daily across all social media platforms and use the WhatsApp line 020-444-7033. If you'd like to send us a message, let us know what you're thinking. Let us know what you're feeling. Let us know what your opinions are on the things that we are discussing here. And definitely, we want to hear from you if you live with outside Ghana, um, definitely just prefix the number 020-444-7033 with the country code plus 233 and we will hear you. Now today we're discussing some very interesting topics. Of course, since we are going to be hearing from the finance minister in parliament today as he reached the 2024 budget statement, we will be speaking about that. And don't forget that we will broadcast this live on City TV. We'll bring you all the analysis as well as we usually do from 10 a.m. right after breakfast daily. So do stay tuned for that. We'll also be discussing something interesting that's popped up, the 2023 Plenary Assembly. Um, it's you know, a, a convening of Catholic bishops from across the country, and they are worried that massive and uncontrolled corruption, as they describe it, is suffocating Ghana. And lastly, we'll be discussing the La Jano Hospital uh, for a couple of years now. We've been talking about that, and government has secured 50 million euros to finally get the reconstruction underway. And I have the perfect guest for this. It's an all ladies affair this morning. And I have been joined by Ellen Amadaku. She is the, an MPP national communications team member. And on the other side of the divide, you know that's how it goes. We have Nana Oye Bampo Ado, a former minister of gender, children and social protection representing the NDC. So I'll start with Ellen. Good morning, how are you doing? Hi, good morning. Wonderful. Yes. Yeah. So I'll, I'll save the budget for last because that will be going into. But um, the very, very big conversation has been the La General Hospital. Yeah. And we've been back and forth on this. Last week, there was a group that came out to say, look, government, if you can't build it, if you're having challenges securing the funding, then we'll do it ourselves. We've had Neil Ante Van der Poy speak, saying that there'll be a showdown if you know it's not built and whatnot. And now here we are. So just to give some context to our viewers, I'm going to read a story that we have on citynewsroom.com. So it's right there. Government secures 50 million euros to reconstruct La General Hospital. The finance ministry has secured 50 million euros in local funding for the reconstruction of the La General Hospital, according to the Minister of Health, Kweku Ajima And of course, he was speaking in Parliament yesterday. The hospital was demolished in 2020 due to structural defects, but work on the reconstruction project is yet to begin. In a briefing to Parliament on Tuesday, Mr. Ajima Menu said that the Finance Ministry had identified a local alternative source of funding for the project. At the 37th session of the Cabinet, the President directed the Ministers of Trade and Industry, Health and Finance to find alternative sources of funding to recommence the project. Through the efforts of a three-man committee, the Minister of Finance has now identified funds locally to continue the project with the same simple work scope, but a reviewed price of 50 million euros, he said. He also noted that processes were underway to ensure payment of the contractor and that work would commence in earnest soon. However, the minority in Parliament criticized the minister for failing to provide clear timelines on when work would resume on the project. Kwabna Minta Akando, the ranking member on, health, on the Health Committee of Parliament, dismissed the health minister's claim, labeling it as deceptive given the track record of unmet assurances. In response to these accusations, Ajima Menu defended the government, stating that his claims were not an attempt to deceive the public. We don't intend to deceive anybody. We don't. We pull down the building with good intentions, but I'm very sure that we'll work to give La Hospital the, you know, to give the La Hospital the, that La deserves. So that was the health minister speaking. We have that story on citynewsroom.com. 
So, I mean, we're, we're being told that 50 million euros has been secured for the reconstruction of the La Journal Hospital. So, Ellen, you're here. Um, you're an MPP communication team member. I'll start with you. Is this the case? I mean, the health minister has said, do you have any news on the timelines? We're expecting anything special that we should be looking at with this project. The only thing special, good morning to our viewers. Good morning. Good morning. Madam, good morning to you. The only thing we should expect is that, as the health minister said, they've secured money. So they are going to work with it. So work should start. It's as simple as that. I, I cannot have any more information than the health minister would have. Mm. So if he's been to parliament and he said he's going to start, we presume that he's going to start. Mm. Um, I have peculiar issues with the health minister and his ministry and how they disseminate inform mm. information. So if he has come out himself to tell us that they are about to start, okay. Mm. <laughs> and I find it interesting mm. that, you know, coming from your side of the, the divide, you're saying this, but it's not just you. The public has had issues with this. I mean, the La General Hospital, like we said, was pulled down in 2020. And it's not even just about the health. There's a whole economy that was built around that hospital, around that space. I have been there. I live in the La Enclave. I live in La Dade Kotopong. I've seen women, children who have been affected adversely by this. I know pregnant women who stopped going for antenatal because they couldn't travel further to go for health. I know women who sell kinke, koko, ekwek baby, kelewile in that space. They lost their livelihood because now all the attraction that the hospital was receiving was not coming. They weren't, you know, getting that. The nurses, the doctors would buy from them. So it's it's a big deal. And I, I'm just wondering if you have anything to say, Ellen beyond telling us that this construction is going to start, the people of La upset, not just because they lost a hospital that was giving them health care, but because they've lost something that was very critical to their very existence in their locality. So yes, 50 million euros, but beyond that, the people who didn't have job, what are we looking at beyond that? Do you have any information on the that? The health minister says he's going to start, so let him start. Okay, let me say good morning to Madam Nanoye Bampoado. Good morning, um, former Minister for Gender and Children's Protection. And I'm sure you may have a lot to say on this yes. issue. Um, <laughs> for me, it just demonstrates the inefficiency and the failures of the MPP government, mm. particularly in terms of healthcare and access to healthcare. Um, La General Hospital was serving a lot of communities. You've spoken about Labadi La. Mm. Teshi Nungwa, Teshi Nungwa estates, even venturing into Sakumono once um, we had the estates and then the Spintex. Mm. And um, uh, my, my mom comes from Nungwa and mm. lived in Nungwa. And so I know that quite a number of my cousins, my family, sought medical care at La General Hospital way even before we got um, LECMA uh, coming up. And when you assess the whole situation of the demolition and even the sword cutting, because let's not forget that the whole president of Ghana cut the sword for commencement of construction after the demolition years ago, and nothing happened. No, and, and, and what is really um, surprising that the health minister and the Ghana Health Service did not even put in place alternate health facilities or arrangements. So one, one would have thought that they would put in place in terms of planning, if even you said you were going to demolish, which was totally wrong. <coughs> because if we compare with how the rich regional hospital was constructed, we still had 24 hour um, uh, health care. It was done in phases. It was right? done in phases. So we still, it did not take away from 
the um, health services that Rich Hospital was providing. So the construction was done in a way to ensure that the communities and Ghanaians who accessed Rich Hospital still had access to health care. Let's con con uh, contrast it with what the MPP did for La General Hospital. You raised it to the ground. You didn't provide or even provide any information or any alternate health care facilities. And this had a very negative impact on health care for the communities stretching all the way to Nungwa. You said you had funding in place. We did not see anything. The people themselves had to demonstrate. Nothing happened. The Honorable Member of Parliament, Honorable Odoli, several times raised questions um, and also tried to find out what was happening. The Minority Caucus of Parliament and the general, even some of the healthcare uh, providers, also raised issues. Nothing. Mm -hmm. And to add insult to injury, there was even a sword cutting and nothing um, happened. And so I, nobody should um, raise questions when the minority caucus in parliament, um, led by uh, um, um, Honorable Lakando, is raising issues that, are we sure that this is going to come on? If indeed funding has been sought locally, funding has been sought locally according to the health minister, what prevents him from mentioning um, the funding and sources, the sources and who is providing the funding and here again what I mean what is the time how long will it take and here again what are the alternate arrangements for health care for um, the people of La and mm -hmm. its environs so it raises a lot of questions it seems like it's just to sort of um, answer or address uh, political issues that have come up because everybody is making a hue and cry about the demolition and the lack of progress in terms of work. Um, he has to come to parliament to mouth a few words. Yes. And so it's in order that the minority NDC caucus is asking legitimate questions. And uh, it's in order that we also ask him uh, questions. And he has to provide better particulars. Um, he's told us how much money he should tell us um, the source of funding, and then he should also tell us how long it will take. Mm -hmm. But very importantly, uh, the people, he owes a responsibility and a duty to the people of La to provide alternate health care facilities. Right. Ellen, did you want to add anything to, to what she said? No. No. <laughs> like, Ellen is, I'm so allowed to say no. But, Nanario, please let me stay with you for a bit. We've spoken about the fact that we need to be looking at alternative health care you know, sources being arranged while this construction is going on. Of course, we don't know how long it's going to take. We've already lost three years without having the large general hospital operational. What are some of the things that we can be looking at? And are there facilities in the environs? Should we be looking at partnerships with different healthcare facilities across communities that are close by? What are some of the things, the concessions that we should be considering? Yes, if you if you trace the history, it was um, La. General Hospital developed and expanded into, um, I don't know whether, I don't think they're a tertiary institution, but at least they were, um, it was 24 hours, they, they were providing certain healthcare facilities. Um, for me, what I remember them for, uh, Dr. is it Dr. Taylor and others, may they rest mm -hmm. in peace, is like you said, antenatal mm -hmm. and their maternity um, um, unit. So it's very important that um, these services are uh, provided somewhat. So even if there are um, satellite healthcare centers, I'm sure the um, Dadip Kotopon, um, is this a, a municipality? municipality. Yes. yes, they can provide some facilities to make sure that antenatal care still goes on and to make sure that uh, the public health services um, goes on in terms and even for inoculation and, um, um, and, and those sort of public health services and certain basic services. And then if there are referrals to, uh, from the top of my head, I believe Rich Hospital is nearby, yeah. Lekma is nearby. So, so these um, arrangements um, need to be made and communicated to the communities that um, La General Hospital 
um, was serving. Healthcare is very, very critical and um, important, especially in those areas. We remember the uh, co um, cholera outbreak and um, how, how that played out in um, La. Mm -hmm. And so it's very important that we have um, this information communicated and alternate um, healthcare facilities created. We have the CHIPS compound, and I'm sure the Ghana Health Service, together with the Ministry of Health and the La Dade Kotopon municipality, can arrange such um, facilities in the communities to ensure that um, access to healthcare and healthcare delivery still goes on irrespective of the demolition. Mm. What, what would it take, in your opinion, to partner with private healthcare facilities to say that, okay, three times a week, twice a week, we also need you to join us in this effort to make sure that we're not disadvantaging um, are the people who need health care in these communities? Yes, I mean, because we have the National Health Insurance Scheme, and uh, I'm sure some members of um, those communities have national health insurance cards, and some private um, health care facilities accept the national health insurance um, card. It shouldn't be too difficult to make those um, arrangements. Um, perhaps it would mean that you would have larger numbers. Um, accessing healthcare in some of the private healthcare facilities. And if we have larger numbers, I believe that they can be supported to, an, um, to increase, maybe get more healthcare personnel or get some specialists visiting on certain days in a week and, 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 and what have you. So those arrangements can be made. And, uh, um, uh, and, and I'm, I'm hoping that the Minister of Health, together with the Director General of the Ghana Health Service and the Greater Accra Regional Director for Health and other um, healthcare providers, Okay. Um, make these um, arrangements. Okay, thank you. There's a message here for you, Ellen. Said, Madam Ellen, your positioning says it's all. Okay. Thank you very much for being honest on the show this morning because those of us who live in La and its environs, we have suffered because of the demolition of the La General Hospital. And that's Sorry. coming in from AC, who I, says she lives I in La. I understand what they, they're yeah. going through. Yeah. And that's why I've decided not to comment on it.